hello guys so welcome back to this channel in our last video we were able to learn how to add snapshot listener to our collections and documents but in this particular video we are going to be focusing on how to update and delete our records in our cloud firestore i highly recommend that you see the previous videos in this particular series talking about firestore if you're yet to see them and after then you can come back and continue with this the reason it is so that you'll be in sync with what we have been doing so far so without wasting much time let's jump right into it like i said earlier on before you can be able to either edit a user or delete a user you need to first of all know their id so when i'm talking about id i mean this you need to first of all know their id that means that when you're retrieving your data from cloud for store you need to also retrieve the id as well so we're gonna go ahead and do that Let's go back to our Visual Studio. So in our users model, we're going to add another key, another member. We're going to call this member ID. Get set. Okay. So we're going to go back to our main activity. So when we are fetching the users, we're going to fetch the ID as well. So we're going to go ahead and say user.id. This will be equal to item.id. Alright, so this will go ahead and retrieve the ID for this particular, for each of the users, right? So now the next thing we need to do will be to delete the item properly. So because we don't have a lot of room and time to add new buttons and all that to our recycle view, so we're going to do it in such a way that when you long click on a particular item on the recycle view, it will go ahead and delete that item from our Cloud Firestore. And also, our recycler view will automatically update because we are adding a snapshot listener to our collections. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say data adapter dot long click, item long click. All right, so this is the long click listener for our item long click event. So the first thing we need to do will be to retrieve the ID of the item we just clicked on. So to do that, I'm going to say string item ID, or instead of having item ID, I'm going to call it user ID. This will be equal to list of users and e dot position. As you know, item longly returns positions of the item or the user we just clicked on. So we're going to have dot ID. So this will retrieve the user ID. The next thing will be to create a document reference. We're going to have docref equal to database.collection.users.document. We're going to pass it our user ID. So this will actually get an instance of the document that owns this ID or the user that owns this ID. Now we can now go ahead and say docref.delete. So this will go ahead and delete the user from our database. So to verify that this works, let's go ahead and run our app. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up our Cloud Firestore as well so that we'll be able to see everything that is happening. So let's go ahead and delete Anthony Grad from the database. So I'm going to scroll and this is Anthony Grad. So like he said, we are going to long click on Anthony Grad. Boom. Anthony Grad has been deleted. So we're going to select another user. This is Vivian Anthony. So let's go ahead and long click on Vivian Anthony. Boom. Vivian Anthony has been deleted. And also, our recycler view has been updated as well. Isn't this cool? So we're going to go ahead and delete Sly Baba. Sorry, Sly, you're going off. <laughs> so let's long click on his name. Boom. So that's that. So guys, this is just how to delete items from a database. And also, updating a document in Firestore is always very easy as well. It's also very straightforward. Once you have the document ID, you can easily either add new fields or edit already existing fields. So what we're going to do now is that instead of deleting um, the user when we long click on it, we're going to update an already existing field and also we're going to add a new field to that particular document reference. All right. So let's look at how to do that. So instead of deleting this document, we can actually choose either to update already existing fields or to add new fields. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and update the already existing field. 
So let's go ahead and update the full name. So to do that, I'm going to say docref dot update. Then we're going to add full name as the key. And we're going to go ahead and put the value that we want to update the full name field with. So we're going to go ahead and say updated name. And let's say we want to add a new field. We can go ahead and say docref dot update. Say we want to now add gender to it. This means that I want to add gender as a new field. So I can go, just go ahead and say male. Like I said, I'm just using this just to show us an example of how, how to make use of Cloud Firestore effectively. So what happens now is that when we long click on any of the users on our recycler view, it will go ahead and change the full name to updated name. And also it will add a gender that will read male to our document, right? So let's go ahead and run our app and ensure that this works appropriately. So we're going to pull up our Firestore database so that we can see everything happening. So the first data or the first user we are going to be updating will be Uphoenix Academy. So we're going to go ahead and long click on it. As we remember, what's going to happen is that instead of our full name to be Uphoenix Academy, it's going to be updated name and a new field will be added which will read gender and the value will be male. So let's go ahead and long click on Uphoenix Academy. Boom! As you can see, this has been updated and this was also updated on our recycle view. So we can go ahead and do the same thing for Jake Jackson. Jake Jackson has obviously updated. Let's load up Nancy Pelo and do the same thing to Nancy Pelo. Boom! As you can see, it just updated. Just a recap of what we've done in this video. We've been able to see how to delete items or data from our Cloudfire store and also we've been able to see how to update already existing fields and also add new fields to our document. So guys, if you really like this video and you've learned something new, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. If you're yet to subscribe to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so that you can always get notified whenever I make this kind of video. This will be all for now, so see you soon.